Hey, welcome to the Monday Rehash. We started a uh, series last week on faith, and yesterday the subtitle was Fire Faith, and it was the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We also did a new song yesterday, if you remember, uh, called Another in the Fire, and there's a, a line in that chorus of the song that says, Account of joy, uh, come every battle, because I know that's where you'll be. That, in other words, God will be with us uh, in the battle. He'll be with us in the fire. He'll be with us in the, in the furnace, where, wherever that problem place is. He promises to be there, which is what I loved about the story of these three Hebrew men. That at the very end of this chapter three, Jesus, like the Son of God, uh, as Nebuchadnezzar says, there's one like the Son of God appears in this fire. I think sometimes we wonder when we're in these fires, when we're in the furnaces and the battles, uh, I know I do. I wonder, am I winning this battle or am I losing it? Uh, are we... Uh, are we ahead? Is this a is this a W for us today, or are we going home with a with a L? I don't know, because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, and so there's the unseen, which is the the spirit world we, w that we battle with, is part of why faith is often a struggle. It's what we don't see. So when we're struggling in in the conflicts of life. There's the, the struggle that we have is I don't see sometimes am I winning or am I losing this? That's where fire faith comes in. Do I trust God knowing uh, am I going to win this one or not? I think for those three Hebrew guys, there was a moment where it looked like uh, we're going to lose this one. <laughs> At least we're going to lose part of it. We know in the end there's going to be victory. Man, that's hard, right? Because. We don't want to lose anything. We don't want to lose life. We don't want to lose value. We don't lose money or relationships. And yet Jesus said that we have to be willing to lose it all. And so it looked like for a moment that these three Hebrew guys had lost. I bet there were people who were watching this display that day. And when they pushed them in, the Jews who were watching pushed them in were probably saying, man, I'm glad I bowed. And down in the, the, the furnace they go. And then... They, they don't hear any screams or anything. They probably looked up and thought, oh man, I wish I had not bowed. And, you know, that's a, gosh, that's a thought to carry with us. I, I believe that there were people watching Joseph's life and seeing Joseph, well, he's in a prison. Yeah, no, he's lost. Then there were people who were watching Jesus's life. And, and, and Jesus was nailed to the cross uh, and he's about to die. And there were people who were saying, if you are the son of God, yeah, that's what I thought. Everybody was probably thinking this is a loss. And yet three days later, Jesus comes back to life. I want to encourage you today with those thoughts that sometimes you may not know whether you're winning or losing. We always win. So there are things that you have to lose in this life in order to gain everything that Christ desires for us to gain. And you and I know that today, and I'm so glad that you know that, but guess what? There are people that don't know that. There are people out there that you know who have not yet experienced the deliverance that God offers through His Son, Jesus. That's why it is important for you and I both to continue to lead people to life. Lead someone to life this week. Look uh, with the eyes of the Spirit for people who are struggling, who may have that question mark over top of their head. Am I winning this battle or am I losing? Because if there's any doubt at all, that's our cue to engage. Look for those people. Ask God to show them to you. For Pray for divine appointments. He wants lost sheep to come into this place. So until next week, Lead someone to life. Look forward to seeing you then. God bless.